Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're going to look at the difference between normal English and formal English. Let's compare these three. Look for, search for, and seek. Look for is normal English. Search for is a little more formal, but it's not formal. It's just a little more formal than look for, and it means exactly the same thing. And what about seek? Seek is formal. It's formal English. You'll see it in writing, but you won't hear it spoken very much. And we see with seek, there's no for. It's just seek. And it means exactly the same thing. Example, he's looking for a job. That's normal English. I can also say he's searching for a job. That's fine too. And what about seek? Can I say he's seeking a job? No, you will never hear this. Technically, it's correct, but you will never hear this. You'll hear he's looking for a job or he's searching for a job. But you might see seeking employment. That's formal, and you'll see it written. In conversational English, no one would say, I'm seeking employment. It's formal. You'll probably see it written. Let's practice. Is he looking for a job? That's right. He's looking for a job. Pronunciation. Remember, we don't say looking for, we say looking fur, fur. Because for is not stressed, we change the pronunciation. We say fur, looking fur. He's looking for a job. Let's practice. Is he searching for a job? That's right. He's searching for a job. And remember, seek, formal English. He is currently seeking employment. Very formal. Let's practice. Is he currently seeking employment? That's right. He is currently seeking employment. That means he's looking for a job right now. And we have two phrasal verbs. Look up and search up. They're both used in everyday English. They're not formal. Look up and search up. The original phrasal verb is look up. A long time ago, we didn't have internet. We had dictionaries. So if you wanted to find a word, you had to look it up. It's a separable phrasal verb, so I put it in the middle. If you don't know the word, look it up. That's what the teachers used to say. Get a dictionary and search for it in a dictionary. Look it up. Now we have the internet, so people say Google it. Or you can say search it up. Search it up is the same as Google it. It means go on the internet and look for it. Find it. Search it up. It's also separable. Put it in the middle. This is a newer phrasal verb. They didn't use this when I was a kid because we didn't have internet. People started using this around the mid-2000s, 2005. People started saying, search it up. But you can still say, look it up. Look it up online. It's the same idea. So example, if you don't know something, you can look it up online. If you don't know something, you can search it up online. It's the same idea. Let's practice. If you don't know something, can you look it up online? That's right. If you don't know something, you can look it up online. If you don't know something, can you search it up online? That's right. If you don't know something, you can search it up online. You hear the pronunciation of the T change to a fast D. Search it up. Search it up online. Or you can just say Google it. If you don't know something, you can Google it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.